This is a four channel DC power supply. You can turn it on first by pressing this power button on the left. I see a lot of red and green lights pop up and some numbers on the display. If you see these red lights, that means overload channel 4, overload channel 3. That means that the current output is being loaded on the internal load on the inside, which means that it's not outputting anything right now. If you click output on and off, you see a green light pop up, which means that it's now outputting correctly. And depending on the selectors here, you can see that channel 2 is right here, and channel 2 is being selected as a display for 4.7 volts. You can change the voltage going down all the way to zero or up. You might hear it click internally all the way to 31.8 it looks like. We usually keep in you know, a voltage range from zero to five. If you go over here to channel one, you can see that channel one is being selected for output. Let's set that to around five. And then channel three can be displayed by clicking this down and then turning the voltage knob here to change channel three. Notice how it only goes from 2.1 up to 5.4. That will be outputted on these two terminals here. Channel 1 will be outputted here. Turning back to channel 1, we have 5 volts. Channel 2 is currently being displayed at 5.5 volts. Channel 4 is similar to channel 3. I can turn that down and display channel 4 and then change the voltage using this knob. This goes down to a lowest setting of 7.6, up to a highest setting of 15.6. Let's go back to channel 2. Let's go back to channel 1, which are these four knobs. Channel 2 are on the left, channel 1 on the right. Notice this current knob. This is a current limiter. If I turn this knob all the way down to zero, that means the maximum current that can be output through channel one is now at zero. And notice how I turn the voltage knob up, it's only zero. That's because we're limiting the maximum current at zero. But if we take that maximum limit and raise it up just a bit, notice how we get a voltage on the output. So this is a safety feature that limits uh, the amount of current being drawn from the power supply so that we don't accidentally draw too much current and break something on the circuit. Usually in the labs, keep this knob around 9 to 12 o'clock in this range, and then you won't have any trouble when turning the supply up and down. Lastly, if you want to not turn off the entire circuit, you can just click output and then that'll turn off the output and it'll reroute the outputted voltage to an internal load, as I said before, hence the red lights. And then that is a quick way to turn off the machine without turning it off completely. And you can just turn it back on again and you have the voltages that were set before. Um, one more thing would be that this is a way to route channel one and channel two so that you can use channel one voltage to control channel two as well. For most of the labs, we will be uh, using just in the independent setting where each uh, channel is independent of the other. If I click one of these buttons in as diagrammed here, we can see that it immediately turns off the output. So let's turn that back on again. And I can turn up channel 1 voltage, and it'll also affect channel 2 in series mode. Um, whenever, if you see these buttons pressed and you need just separate channels doing separate voltages, just unclick that, make sure the output is on, and set, having it be with both buttons extended is independent mode, and this will be the mode that you will probably use for most of the labs.